All right, hello everybody, and welcome to Winooski on this beautiful, well, it seems like a summer day. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone for coming out today to celebrate this fantastic project, and I'd like to especially thank the VFW for hosting us, one of Winooski's longest standing businesses. Winooski's past investment in infrastructure of our downtown spurred millions of dollars of private investment and growth, creating more housing, new business opportunities, and adding to the vibrancy of our city while better supporting our region. This project extends that investment to our main street to modernize our city, improve livability, and expand vibrancy, housing, and opportunity. This project replaces aging water lines and adds trees to build resiliency. It expands bike and pedestrian capacity so all residents can make use of our streets safely and increase use of alternative transportation. Utilities will move underground, increasing housing capacity and business opportunity to further address the housing crisis and support the regional workforce. This will extend the vibrancy we see in our downtown and grow our grand list to expand our tax base and support local resources. The project goals support all facets of our community-driven strategic vision and master plan. Those goals include economic vitality, municipal infrastructure, housing, and safe and healthy connected people. Winooski is a small city with big aspirations. We're creating an opportunity for ourselves, we are supporting our region, and we are building for our future. We're very grateful for state and federal funding that has made this project possible. And with that, I'd like to introduce Ethan Hinch, policy advisor to Senator Sanders. Good morning. My name's Ethan Hinch, and I'm an outreach representative for Senator Bernie Sanders. I know the senator would have liked to be here in person, but I thank you for the opportunity to offer a few remarks on his behalf. First, congratulations to all Winooski residents on the groundbreaking of the Main Street Revitalization Project. It's no secret that our nation's infrastructure is in poor shape, and that until recently, the federal government has chronically underfunded its repair. Our economy, just as importantly our people, rely on well-functioning infrastructure. Without it, towns and cities can't attract businesses, people can't get to work, municipalities can't deliver safe drinking water. But as you know all too well, many communities cannot afford to make these much needed upgrades on their own. As a former mayor, Bernie understands these challenges and he has long been committed to getting towns and cities the federal funding to make the upgrades they want and need to do. Federal partners, especially those like USDA Rural Development who work hand in hand with communities are so critical to these projects. And I know they will continue to help put federal dollars to work across Vermont. Again, thank you for having me today. On behalf of Bernie, congratulations to the Winooski community on this important milestone. Now, please allow me to introduce Ryan McLaren, Senior Advisor for Senator Peter Welch. Thank you. Um, my name is Ryan McLaren. I'm a senior advisor for Peter Welch, and uh, I know Peter wishes he could be here to celebrate uh, with you all, but uh, you got me instead. Um, so uh, this feels like the culmination of a lot of work. It's obviously just the beginning of even more work, uh, physical work. Um, but uh, you know, there's over twenty million dollars of USDA rural development money uh, in this project. It was shepherded through Congress by the great Senator Leahy um, and supported by Senator Sanders and then Congressman Welch. Uh, but together with the new high school, middle high school up the road at the top of Main Street, the city of Winooski is building a foundation for a vibrant, connected 21st century community, the vision that Thomas just spoke about. And it's, there's so much happening in Winooski right, right now, so much opportunity you're building for yourselves, and um, so much more to come. So it's really exciting, it's really wonderful to be here with you all. Um, Peter is the chairman of the Rural Development Subcommittee on the Senate Committee on Agriculture. So all the wonderful wo work that USDA Rural Development um, does is in, in our hands <laughs> and uh, you know if we can do anything if we can promise anything it's that we'll keep fighting to protect that funding um, 
and increase it because we know how important it is to invest in rural communities to keep them um, thriving. Um, so, you know, but, but we can't do it alone, obviously. We need engaged partners and engaged communities to deliver on transformative projects like this. And um, that's really exactly what you have in, in Winooski. It's so impressive to see how forward thinking um, and how just lively the, the community is because you're investing in your infrastructure and you're trying to grow in a way that um, is in line with your values and creates opportunity for everybody. So um, I just want to congratulate Mayor Lott, who I haven't seen, Deputy Mayor Renner, um, all the current and former city councilors, the city staff, uh, and everyone here who's helped make this project possible. So thank you so much. Um, and now it's uh, my privilege to introduce a good friend, David Chair, the State Director for Representative Becca Ballin. Uh, thank you very much, everybody, for having us here today. The Congresswoman also regrets that she is unable to be here with the House in session today, uh, but is very excited about this project and uh, happy to uh, have some representation here. Um, you know, the Congresswoman always talks about how um, I important it is that the federal dollars are there to assist towns and um, is happy to play a role in securing that. She wants to extend her thanks to the uh, delegation that, that did that, which was, in fact, Senator Leahy, Senator Sanders, and then Congressman, Congressman now Senator Welch. Um, and, and, you know, those federal dollars are so important to the lifeblood of, of these communities. And she is committed to fighting to protect that in a sometimes uphill battle uh, in, the, in the U.S. House. But she is also very aware that none of this happens without committed caring local partners, and she really wanted to make sure that I extend my thanks and gratitude to the folks here on the ground in Winooski who have put so much effort into their community. Uh, it's really just driving around Winooski, looking around Winooski, it's really extraordinary what you all have done here. So a big thank you to uh, Deputy Mayor Renner, who's here today, Mayor Lott, the City Council, um, the remarkable staff here in Winooski, uh, the city staff here in Winooski. It's really extraordinary to see. One of the Congresswoman's biggest priorities is housing. Um, and again, I think Winooski and the Congresswoman has, no, has noted Winooski is a real example, I think, to the rest of the state of what a commitment to housing really means and looks like and what it feels like on the ground. As Ryan mentioned, the vibrancy of Winooski is remarkable. Uh, none of that happens without some more hidden things like infrastructure. Um, so this is such a great example of the infrastructure that is necessary to support the housing that we need. Uh, it's not, it's doesn't get the headlines always, but it should because nothing else happens without it. Uh, the stormwater, the wastewater, uh, that's going to uh, improvements that are going to be made here are going to be incredibly important to continuing the incredible trajectory that Winooski is on. Uh, one other note, just wanted to mention explicitly that the congresswoman is excited about with respect to this project is the USDA Urban Community Forestry Grant Award, a million dollars to planting trees. Uh, this is something that I also don't think gets enough attention, but there's lots of data and studies showing how important trees and tree canopy is to uh, urban communities, urban environments. And one of the other congresswomen's big priorities is mental health, and there's incredibly strong data showing how important tree canopy and trees and green spaces are to mental health. So it's just a great sort of holistic project that is happening here in Winooski covering so many bases that are so important. And again, thank you to all the local partners who made it happen and the remarkable delegation that preceded the Congresswoman for uh, helping to secure all this. And with that, it is my great privilege and honor to welcome Vermont's State Treasurer to the podium, Mike Pichak. Thanks, David. Well, uh, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here with everyone. Congratulations to the city of Winooski and to the leadership team. Congratulations to everyone working on this project here that's with us. Good luck as you complete it over the next couple of years. Uh, one of the reasons I really love living in Winooski is that Winooski is very future oriented. We're always looking for tomorrow. And this project is a great example of that. 20 years ago, the city made a significant investment in the TIF district just down the road. And that's paying off for generations of Winooski residents. 
I think in the same way this infrastructure project has that generational transformation is going to make a big difference 10, 20, 30, 40 years down the road. I think it's really critical because it's going to help us, as we've heard, build infrastructure that's going to support housing and support economic development. It's going to grow the grand list of Winooski, making it more affordable to live here. It's going to put the power lines underground so we're more sus sustainable, we're more resilient when it comes to climate change and more severe weather impacting Winooski. Our lights will stay on and our businesses will stay open, which is really, really important. And then it also will serve as a critical gateway, uh, a beautiful entranceway to the city of Winooski that um, everyone that travels here uh, to live or just to travel through or to work or to visit will really um, enjoy and uh, it'll set a really great example for what other communities can do by investing in themselves. So it's really a pleasure to be here. I really enjoy when cities and uh, municipalities invest in their future. Uh, this is a critical investment and look forward to it paying off for decades to come. And with that, I want to turn it over to Representative Daisy Berbeco. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for being here, everyone. I'm Daisy Berbeco, the state representative for Winooski, and mom of two kids who go to school up the road, um, and Winooski resident. Um, Winooski, in my work at the state, Winooski is widely regarded as one of our state's most inclusive and diverse communities. We have a reputation as being very welcoming and inclusive, and if we want to keep that, we have to provide opportunities for everyone who lives here to be safe, healthy, and connected. And our downtown businesses are one of the most wonderful ways that we can do that. I know I've met our community through just simply walking around town as a one square mile city. Um, almost anywhere you, you live in Winooski, you can walk or ride to downtown. And when you're downtown, you have, again, another example of our diversity and inclusiveness. You can go skim through records and meet people just that you would never otherwise <laughs> connect with. And I think having these rare businesses that, you know, people travel from outside Winooski to come and visit is one of the things that puts us on the map. Um, and those places that we have those connections in our local businesses, whether it's having breakfast at Sneakers and running into one of our counselors, um, or at the record store or at Scout grabbing a cup of coffee, those are actually some of the most fundamental opportunities that we can provide each other for connection. And we, when we have connection and we offer those opportunities, it directly impacts our mental health. I know David Scher mentioned how Becca has really championed mental health in the legislature. Um, she just introduced the MEND Act, um, and I introduced this last biennium, another um, piece of state legislation which really looks at mental health and climate change and what we can do to support resiliency without raising money. <laughs> and one of those things is simply offering opportunities for people to organically connect. And our downtown businesses have been doing that. And this project is simply going to make it that much easier to get to those places. So I want to say thank you so much to the federal and the local partners and Mike, our state treasurer, for really supporting this. And like um, I think Ryan and David mentioned how infrastructure doesn't always get the love and attention and bright lights that it deserves, but it really is foundational to our wellness. And um, just thanks again, everybody. Now, um, it's my honor to introduce Heather, no, Sarah Waring. Sarah is the state director at the USDA Rural Development for Vermont and New Hampshire. Good morning, everyone. We're jealous that you all are in the shade and we're out here in the sun. Um, but I want to just thank you all for including USDA Rural Development in this important moment today. Our agency's mission is to improve economic opportunity and quality of life for rural communities. And we do this by providing housing for our most vulnerable citizens and residents by helping small businesses to thrive and grow, and by investing in communities and municipalities to reinvest in their future through public facilities and infrastructure. And today it's that last part that we're here to celebrate. Not only are we thanking so many of the local folks who have been involved in this through their elected leadership or through their roles with city government, but we're also thanking the architects and the engineers and the dedicated stakeholders who have made this transformational project possible. 
Though we reserve the brightest spotlight for the people of this incredible little city whose imagination and collaboration and will are taking shape for all of us to admire. This project in many ways is transformational for us at Rural Development. It's a project that will change the way people feel about this city when they are here. What always amazes me is the countless hours of work that go into getting to a point like today, which is years in the making. There's a complex capital stack. There's analysis. There is reporting and organizing and coordinating. Nobody really marks down when it all begins. And there's really no expectation of ending because you can always improve on what you have. However, in just a few generations, maybe less, citizens of Winooski will enjoy the fruits of the labor that we are seeing today up and down the street and will continue to see. But they won't necessarily know about those long hours preparing and the personal sacrifice that went into making it a reality. When I think about community development and improving our quality of life, it is this subtle or often invisible work that amazes me the most. And USDA has a history, oh, sorry, has a history with this city. We began, and Jesse may correct me if I'm wrong, but we began maybe 2016, 2015, working with city staff on the application processes and underwriting and developing financing packages. In 2018, we were able to obligate federal funds using two of our core programs that our congressional delegation has spoken about. One is a community facilities program, and the other is our water and environmental program. Community facilities is about $7.45 million of the streetscaping improvements. And under the city, under the street, the sewer project has a separate water and environmental loan grant combo for almost $8.57 million. One of the first times in the country where rural development combined both for the same project. And then during the past few years with cost overruns and delays, the projects have grown along with our state partners uh, we've invested even more federal dollars, so an additional 4.5 million obligated to support those changes. Today, our funding for this particular project stands at just over $20.5 million. And of course, it adds to the $50 million investment in the school at the top of Main Street, making Winooski a hotspot for federal investment. I just want to say one other thing, which is about our role as an investor of your federal taxpayer money. This is your own taxes at work. This is your neighbor's taxes and mine and people from all over the country. Our job is to make sure that you have a good management team <clears throat> and that you can make the numbers work because we've invested in you and we trust you and the country trusts you to make this community thrive. As an appointee of the administration, I want to say that it makes me proud that the Biden-Harris administration cares about investing in rural America. And this is what investment looks like, having confidence in local leaders to set their own destination and then helping plot the path to get them there. Now I'd like to introduce a person who has a big job, Chris Saunders, who is the appointed federal co-chair of our region's Northern Border Regional Commission. Chris. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, Sarah and I share a, a kind of a, a more regional perspective. You would obviously expect uh, representatives of our delegation and our state elected officials to brag on Winooski, um, and that's, that's totally appropriate. But I think we can share from the regional perspective. Uh, I, I work at the Northern Border Regional Commission on behalf of the Biden administration. Our territory stretches from uh, Niagara County in New York uh, to Aroostook County in Maine. Uh, even on that scale, Winooski stands out and is worthy of celebration. Uh, uh, the, the treasurer spoke to this about Winooski thinking towards the future. Uh, our agency is focused on economic development across this region, and we're really looking for communities like Winooski that are taking that forward-looking approach. Our region shares some, some common assets and some common challenges. Uh, infrastructure has been mentioned as one of those challenges, but by and large, uh, in comparison to, to national standards, our, our area is a little older and isn't growing as fast. And 
in, communi in communities like Winooski, that's a different story. Uh, so we were really excited to make an $800,000 award to uh, the city of Winooski uh, grant funding, which is really important for a couple of reasons, uh, but most of which is that it reduces the tax burden for the residents that live here. Uh, this project costs less uh, to, to city residents because of uh, the federal investment. Um, but it also really is fundamentally about some of the other themes that have been mentioned. Uh, last week was Infrastructure Week. Uh, I think there was a while where in a previous administration every week was Infrastructure Week without ever actually delivering any results. Uh, I think we're excited during this administration that we're actually seeing uh, projects happen, federal investment being made, and it's not about the smoother road that you get to drive on. It's about that improved quality of life that really makes Winooski a stronger and better place to live for Winooski residents. That has a spillover effect of attracting additional investment and people get interested in this region and want to move here and live here. Um, but it really fundamentally is about that place-based investment that makes the quality of life for folks in Winooski better. Uh, a lot of folks have been thanked uh, this morning I just want to share some additional thanks to, to folks that uh, don't always get the recognition. Uh, there is a really hard working team at the city of Winooski, uh, Elaine uh, and Jonathan and preceding them, uh, Jesse, uh, who we've had the privilege of working together uh, for years. And it's that level of commitment and vision and as Sarah mentioned, mentioned accountability that really makes these projects happen and makes us as a federal investor confident that uh, tax dollars are going to be well spent and put to good use. So thank you for your service and, and commitment uh, to, to working in the public sector. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce uh, Heather Pembroke, the Deputy Commissioner of Vermont Department of Environmental Conservation. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for hanging in there. I'm the last speaker, just in case you were wondering. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to uh, thank all the previous speakers. They all, I'm standing over there nodding my head, yes, yes, yes. Um, so I'm so happy that um, <clears throat> you know people have been recognized and all the, the volunteers, the people who get paid to do this at the state and the federal level, um, our delegation, all the people who, who, it takes so much to do a project like this. So, um, and I really want to thank Winooski for being the the city that started all of this. While it, it these funds and this project is within the bounds of the city of Winooski, it's really helping all of Vermont and and especially um, up and down the Winooski River and Chittenden County. So, um, I want to thank you for for starting this project uh, and and helping a really a broad swath of folks. Um, the Department of Environmental Conservation has been so pleased to work on this project with VTRANS, USDA Rural Development, US Forest Service, as previous speakers have said. Um, and again, this is, you know, this is something that I feel like we are going to, it's, you know, there's people out there on the street right now who are going, come on, make, you know, let's move and, <laughs> you know, irritated by the traffic congestion and what have you, but it takes patience. It takes patience to put a project like this together. It takes a patience to get through it. There will be things that come up. There will be hurdles to overcome but what I've seen time and time again is that is that we will overcome those hurdles um, as a previous speaker said so much of this work at least from the the part that the Department of Environmental and Conservation is involved in is really going to be hidden right I mean once we tear up the streets and um, everything goes in the water and the wastewater and the stormwater stormwater will probably be the most visible but most of that is going to be underground but um, it's so it's so important because it's the only reason we can really all live here is that to have all that infrastructure so um, DEC has committed over 25 percent of um, some of the drinking water infrastructure which we're really proud about um, in terms of uh, uh, sewer and stormwater, we've got another million dollars in loans and um, some grants, about $800,000. Um, but there's also been some legacy contamination. All, pretty much all towns do. So while we're digging up the roads and while we're doing all this infrastructure and putting beautiful <laughs> trees up, we're also dealing with some real hazardous materials. Um, I'm, we're, we're thrilled also that all the coordination that has taken place so that we can do this and do it once and do it right. Um, the Department of Environmental Conservation, part of the reason that we're so excited about this project is that it really will help um, with protecting our environment. The, the wastewater and the 
water infrastructure and the storm water is going to directly impact our service waters, um, your namesake, the Winooski River, um, you know, most amongst them. So we're, we're, we're very proud to be a partner in this project. And um, with that, I'll turn it back to Deputy Mayor uh, Thomas Rennick. Well, I'd like to thank all of the speakers for uh, working on your suntans here with me. So thank you very much. Um, again, many thanks to current and former city staff, city councilors, residents, and businesses for their support and their engagement on this project. A big thank you to DPW and Kubricki Joint Align for their planning and hard work. A reminder to sign up for project updates to stay in the know at winooskivt.gov forward slash Main Street. The website has project details, and you can also learn more from the printed materials over at the table. And a reminder as well, all of the businesses on Main Street remain open during construction. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Folks, if you'd like to join me and grab a hard hat, I believe uh, we're going to take some pictures. Thank you, everybody. Yeah.